I'm Martin Hall, you're watching School of Golf Extended Library. My book today, How I Play Golf by Tiger Woods, the one and only Tiger Woods. I've had the good chance to be around him just a little bit lately, and some of the things he said, well, of course, they're very interesting. He said he learned to play the game from the green back to the tee. He said, actually, he hates working on his long game. That's exactly what he said. He said, they're like vegetables. You have to eat them, but they're not much fun. For him, the dessert is working on his chipping and his putting, and he said he would work on that all day. Lesson for all of us there. Start with the shorter shots, move to the intermediate ones, eventually go to the longer ones. Grip pressure with putting. Tiger said he had a lesson in probably the late 1990s or a conversation with Ben Crenshaw while at the Masters. And Crenshaw persuaded him to hold the putter lightly. And in doing that, he felt he could feel the head of the putter swing a lot more, holding the putter lightly. Now, he also said when I was talking with him, that's not true with the full swing. He wanted to hold the club a bit firmer. Advice from Byron Nelson on that one. So putting light, longer swing, a bit tight. Now, he um, mentions that with all of his shots, he tries to have just one grip. Tiger's action into locker, great for accuracy, but he just has one grip. He doesn't change it for the woods or change it for the irons. And then finally, and I think this is so important for all golfers, like so many great players, Tiger makes the point. You have to keep your grip pressure constant through the entirety of the motion. It's no good starting light and getting tight. It's no good starting tight and then getting light. It must stay constant for your swing to repeat. Great points from the great Tiger Woods. Thanks for joining us on GolfChannel.com for the best in golf instruction. I'm Martin Hall. You've been watching an extended version of Martin's Library. For more tips like these, tune into School of Golf Wednesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern.